Hi, my name is Sean O'Brien and I'm with Agilent Technologies. I'm here today at Cascade Sciences to talk to you about pump maintenance on an IDP7 dry scroll pump. In purge oven applications, you're going to get buildup or residue in your scroll pump. It's necessary to take a pump offline for a brief amount of time if you're experiencing longer pump downs or you're not getting to as deep vacuum. Okay, now we're going to go over everything you're going to need to service your pump. We have our tip seal kit, which comes with a tip seal and new o-ring that you'll be replacing. You will also need a 4 and 8 millimeter Allen key, a small screwdriver or pick to help remove the tip seal, a lint-free cloth, Scotch-Brite, a wooden dowel, and a smaller one to get the tip seal groove, compressed air or a can of air, and ethanol. Ethanol is important and you'll want to use this if you're in a purge oven application. Okay, now we're going to start by removing the front cowling and fan. We're going to use a 6 millimeter Allen key to remove the three bolts. We'll remove the cowling and disconnect the connection for the fan. Now we've removed the cowling, we'll remove the four 4mm four Allen screws. Next, we'll go on to cleaning the pump. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the tip seal and o-ring. I'm going to use a small screwdriver, but being very careful not to scratch this anodized surface. Now discard both the tip seal and the o-ring as you'll replace both with the new tip seal kit. Now that the tip seals are removed, we're going to re want to remove all the residue out of this. In purge oven applications, you're going to want to use ethanol to effectively clean out the residue. If you don't have access to lab grade ethanol, you can use a high grade spirit such as Everclear or Moonshine. These alcohols both do have a little bit of water content in them, so you're going to want to do a final wipe with isopropyl alcohol to remove the residue. I'm going to dip my Scotch-Brite pad in ethanol, or my spirits, and use my wooden dowel to help me. And I'm going to work this around, cleaning out the residue in the bottom.
Now once you've scrubbed out the inside of the tip seal groove, you're going to want to get in here as well. This dowel is too big, so I'm going to grab the straw from the top of my compressed air can. I'm also going to use my lint-free cloth. Now lint-free cloths are important. You don't want to use anything such as a paper towel when cleaning a scroll pump. Now that we've finished the outboard housing, we're going to move on to the orbiting plate of the scroll. We'll follow the same procedure to change the tip seal and clean the pump on that side as well. Now that we have cleaned out our scroll pump, we're going to go ahead and replace the tip seals. From our new tip seal kit, we're going to remove the tip seal. This is enough for both the orbiting plate and the outboard housing. We're going to start in the center an eighth to a quarter of an inch back to allow for thermal expansion of the tip seal as the pump warms up during operation. As we work our way around, we're going to come across some small grooves right here. These small grooves hold the tip seal in place. When you get there, you're going to have to use a wooden dowel to help press the tip seal down into the channel. Now using scissors or a pair of diagonal cutters, we're going to cut the tip seal shy of the end of the groove by a quarter to an eighth of an inch. Now go over and make sure the tip seal is firmly seated. Next, we'll repeat the process on the orbiting plate. Next, we'll turn the pump up on its end and install the tip seal in this portion. So now I've just finished installing the tip seal into the orbiting plate. I'm going to put the pump down on the table. And grab my new O-ring from my tip seal kit. We're going to install it in the groove. So we have it like that. The IDP7 has pins that help align the outboard housing to the main body of the pump.
We're going to take our outboard housing and line it up with the pump body. Once it's seated, we're go going to install our four four millimeter Allen bolts. I'm going to tighten each of them just till they're a little snug and then I'll go around again and tighten them up some more. Now the outboard housing is installed back on the pump. We're going to get the cowling and the fan. Remember to plug the fan back in before installing it. Make sure the cowling slips back in and then grab the three six millimeter bolts to put the cowling back on. We have now finished servicing our IDP7 scroll pump and you're ready to return the pump back into use. I hope this taught you everything that you needed to know to service your pump too. If you have any questions, please contact Cascade Sciences.